Hi, my name is Dr. Ian Schumann. I have a general reconstructive and aesthetic dental practice full-time here in Pasadena, Maryland. Here's some tips and tricks to help you make the process of relining your denture with Soft Reliner Tough much easier and simpler. Here's a tip and trick for silicone paste application. Here we're applying the Soft Reliner Tough medium body to the upper denture. First we apply it to the borders and then we add enough material to cover the entire palette. Make sure to cover the entire denture surface where you applied the primer with the silicone paste to avoid saliva contamination of the primer. The contamination can result in poor adhesion of soft reliner to the denture. Also, over application of the material can result in the patient choking or gagging on the material as it drips backward into the throat. And under application is a huge problem because you can't add this material to itself. So you'd have to do it over again. So make sure you use an adequate amount of material to cover the entire denture base, but not too much that it interferes with the patient's breathing or causes them to choke. One of the tips and tricks I like to use to avoid air bubbles in the soft reline process is to make sure that that tip of the applicator stays buried within the material itself. As you can see here, we keep the tip buried in the material and that avoids the introduction of air to or under the soft reliner tuff. I prefer the Soft Reliner Tough Soft because it allows more of a cushion and bounce against the lower arch, which typically is the one that often has most of the sore spots. One of the tips and tricks that I mentioned before, and I'll mention it again, is to keep the mixing tip buried in the material as you're expressing it out. This avoids bubbles, air pockets, and any voids or blebs you may otherwise get. Those are my tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully in the future, You'll be a Tokuyama soft reliner user as well.